Hi. Um, I wanted to share with y'all my long-term prepper haul that came in today. I ordered it off of Amazon thanks to Mar Martin Midlife Adventures. They alerted us that there was a sale going on the other day. And so I went on and took advantage of the ones they told me about and a few of the others. Um, this entire group right here and this, I got two of these, the onions. I've never tried those chopped onions before. Uh, two one pound bags for $10.99 each. So, but this whole group, including the onions, was $102.41 which isn't my normal really cheap haul, but this is a long-term haul. Like here, are these potato shreds, they were $8.14, 25 year shelf life. So I will put that in the pantry and just leave it there until I need it. This was the potato slices, $9.99. Same thing, 25 year shelf life. I'll put them in the pantry and leave them there until I need them. This one I've never tried before, but um, they told me about it from the Martin Midlife. This was $12.98 for the black bean burgers. Um, 25 year shelf life. Uh, honey. Honey's going to be a premium almost any anywhere. Um, that was on sale, but it's $13.89, so that wasn't the very best deal. 30-year shelf life on this powdered honey. Butter, the powdered butter. I hope I'm, I can't watch this. $19.94. That's about as cheap as it get, gets. I think last year I bought it one time for $12 and something. Uh, that's a 10-year shelf life on that. And then this vegetable stew, this isn't is the first time I've bought it, but it was $15.56, 25-year shelf life. And this saying, for 40 servings, 204 servings for the butter, 340 of the honey. So there's great value in this, even though it's more than I would have spent, 38 servings. So do your research. Sometimes, believe it or not, this is cheaper whenever this is on sale, the potato um, slices or even the shreds. It is literally cheaper to buy this with already a 25 or 10 to 25 year, well, both of those are 25 year shelf life, than it is for me to buy the frozen potatoes and... Um, dry them myself it, it's just cheaper and then for the first time i'm showing you please think of your dogs your dogs and your cats this i had bought a little while back but i'm seeing dog and cat food really 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 fluctuate that was back in july it was 1442 i've seen it way higher than that and then again i've seen it less my little cheese that one right there especially he is allergic to so many things and that's one reason that he's so fat i can't hardly even let him out like normal because he's allergic to fleas one flea can bite him and it's just a mess hence the expensive dog food that i paid you may as well say 44 dollars for six and a half pounds of this prescription diet you know how much of this food they have eaten? A cup of it since August. So now I've tried this one. I don't know how that's going to do. Someone had told me about that. It's also by Hills. Four pounds for $20.79. But you love your animals. You do what you can do. You do what you got to do. And because of his little flea allergies and this, that, and the other, the vet had prescribed me Apoquil. For y'all pet, uh, pet people, you'll know what I'm talking about. Apoquil, and it's supposed to be, supposed to give it to them all the time. Well, whenever I bought it from the vet's office, it was $66, and I'm on Social Security, so I tried to get it cheaper. 
I found it on Walmart RX. It was 5.4 mils, 30 of them. It was $38.10. I hope you can see that. And I thought, great. I went ahead and signed up for the automatic uh, monthly shipping to save a couple dollars every month. Well, it went from $38.10 there to literally the next month. Same thing, same place. Can you see that? $72. 30 pills of Apoquil, $72. Well, I canceled. So watch your prices. Watch your prescriptions. Don't just trust that once you think you've locked in a price at a certain amount that they're, you're really going to get it for that. That's a lie. To go from $38 to $72 was insane. So be careful. But in your prepping, get you some long-term preps as you can. And some of this, even if you have to buy one or two cans along. Uh, this is from Amazon. It still is really inexpensive whenever you consider how much food you are getting. This is about food security and mind, peace of mind. And don't forget your pets. We love our little bratty kit. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all. So, love you guys. Take care. Just wanted to share this. Sometimes it is less expensive to pay a little bit more now to get a whole lot more. And this, even at $10.99 for a pound for the uh, certified organic chopped onions was way less than I saw it elsewhere on Amazon. So there you go. Love you guys. Take care. Stay prepared. Bye.